happy 4th of July. Um, kind of just puttering around the house this morning and thought I'd make a video as I was putting away these boxes. Um, so this will be a boxing video. This is for a boy, age 10 to 14. I was kind of going for green as his theme, but then I ended up with quite a bit of blue as well. So, oh well, whatever. Okay, so when I pack, I usually just, um, I do multiple boxes at a time. They'll have them here on my card table. And I will just pile things in each box. So I'll have the box sitting there. And when the mound gets like a box and a half high, I usually stop and then pack everything in. Um, and then if there's room, I'll add more. So I've done that with this box and then uh, unpacked it so I can show you how it all went in. Uh, one of the first things I do once I've got my pile is I go through and I bag or pouch or whatever you want to call it, all his school supplies. So for school supplies, this guy's got a ruler with centimeters on it and a little stencil. I know that's not really a school supply, but it's like stationary stuff, right? He's got a click pin, four different colors. I always loved these in middle school. And some Sharpies. As we pack boxes, I think sometimes we think these 10 to 14 year olds, oh, we think, oh, they're teenagers, they're high schoolers. Well, no, not really. Um, 10 to 14 is like fifth grade through eighth grade here in the United States. So we're talking middle schoolers, upper elementary. Okay. Colored pencils. So I try not to get too mature, but that's just me. Couple of sharpeners, a uh, pair of scissors, Couple of big erasers, some cap erasers, blue pens, black pens. Uh, we've got a red pencil for correcting stuff. I don't know if they still do that. Extra colored pencils because I ordered some. And anyway, long story. I end up with a lot of brown. Uh, changed tip pencil. Fourth of July. There we go. Those were given to me. Uh, and then we have regular pencils. Some Easter pencils, some just colored pencils. Colored, like the outside's colored, not the lead. All right, so then I put these in flat. I usually start with the pencils. I get them all laying flat. One of my hints for trying to get a lot of things in the box is to keep everything flat and then stack it in and it works better. So we'll put those in. Okay, so then we'll do the next layer with the pens, again, trying to keep them flat, 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 get them there. All right, so they're flat right now. I think I'm gonna add some of these erasers over here to hold this pile down so it doesn't try to roll up on me. Um, we're gonna put the little cap erasers down on the end because I've got like half an inch of space over here. Maybe these little sharpeners will fit down there as well. Oh, stay flat. Don't pounce up on me. All right. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get that star one in. There we go. I did. Okay. Rest of his markers. Again, try and keep things as flat as I can. I'm gonna slip these in on the bottom. I can get past the zipper. There we go. Let's slip right in there. And the scissors, oops, looks like I missed an eraser. Why can you go and still be flat? You can go over here. We'll get you in there. All right, so everything's flat. And so you can get it there. Yeah. Pretty flat, not too bad. Okay. Then I'm going to put his stickers here in his folder. So he's got Star Wars stickers, VBS stickers, some superhero stickers, DC. He also has a note for me with my contact information. So I'm going to slip this all in the folder. Sometimes I put other things in the folder. I'll put coloring sheets or mazes or um, anything like that don't have any of those right now for big boys so he's just gonna get stickers in his all right and then I'm gonna make a flat stack here of some other things we've got his coloring book 
and a college rule notebook. So I'm gonna put those together. All right, those are ready to go. He also has colored pencils for school. Got to mention that over there. All right, so then going with my flat thing stack here, I'm gonna add this metal earth model kit that makes Spider-Man. The metal's a little sharp, but you can put it together without tools. So it says age is 14 plus, but I think a little bit younger would be okay. It's, it's fine. I put one together myself. It's not too complicated. He has a magnetic chest set. These are from Dollar Tree. And so it's got some instructions on the inside on how the pieces move. And then you punch out the magnets to play in there. So that's there. Stack that on the flat stuff. He also has a model airplane. So that's flat. I'm going to put that under here, actually. We'll do that. All right. He has a comb and a toothbrush. Also for hygiene, he has a manicure kit. These are from Christmas at Walmart. So they've got scissors and files and clippers and things in them. All right, those are probably going to fit down near the bottom. Okay, I'm going to put his little toys here in this cup. So I've got the cup, little toys. I've got a little pop keychain. These are kind of all the rage. I teach high school, and my high school students love to play with them too. So uh, we have a little wind-up car that like pops a wheelie. This is left over from VBS a few years ago. The glow-in-the-dark lizard. A lip whistle makes some really great noise. We've got three of these skeletal dinosaurs. These are from Walgreens in a tube after Halloween. I got them pretty cheap. All right, so let's start getting these guys in here. I'm gonna keep like shaking things and poking things and like trying to get it as mushed down in the bottom, not wasting any space as I can. It looks like there's room for something else flat down there. I'm going to put a little mini yo-yo and a couple of Hot Wheels. Still getting down there. All right, we've got a bouncy ball. Ack! It doesn't bounce very good on this table. Okay, let's get that guy in there. So I still got a bit of room here. Let's figure out what we can do with that in a minute. All right, I think I'm to the point I can start putting things in. He also has a monkey and a fidget spinner and a ball catch game. I used to be good at this, but now I'm terrible. So that is going in for toys. He has a mini Lego set. These are the teeny tiniest little Legos. This is from Michaels. They came in like a cube. Uh, shape box, and, but when you open it up, it's definitely 7 plus. I mean, these things are little. It has the instructions to make Santa Claus and his reindeer in there. And a tiny little base plate. So I definitely wanted to put those in a bag so we didn't lose the pieces. All right, and then he has one of these little dudes. Some of you are probably old enough to remember these. And I found them at Hobby, Hobby Lobby in a multi-pack, 24-pack. And I was like, ah! I remember those. So he was like eight cents. But just a fun little dude. I might put him in the cup. Um, and then we have a cross necklace. These two were from Hobby Lobby. So it came in a bag. Where'd it go? Of 24. So it's in the Playside Creations area. So it's a plastic bag. Had 24 of them. Um, they didn't have the strings attached to the crosses. I had to do that. A regular price is $3.99, but they had half off play side, so it was $2 for 24 necklaces, eight cents a piece. I was like, ah, uh, yeah, I could do that. So just a nice little, little addition. So we'll put that in. I'm gonna tie a little loose knot in it to keep that string from getting tangled up on everything. Yeah, I'll put that in there. I have sunglasses for him. These are from Walmart, Mongoose. It's also a bicycle brand. They're all UVA, UVB, all that stuff. All right. We have a bag that some tennis balls came in. All right, 
and then you've got his clothes, which I'll get to. All right, let's start putting some things in here. So in the box, I usually put the flat things first, and I'm going to curl curl up the back side of the box. But that's going to make just a tiny, tiny little gap over here. So I'm going to put the toothbrush and the comb in there first and squish them into that corner. Just making sure you can see. Yeah, you, you can see. And now I'm going to put this in there. All right. Squish this down. Okay, I'm going to scoot everything tight to one side, which I always do. I'm going to take colored pencils and stand them up. Okay, they're too high right now, so I'm going to have to move this chess game over just a little bit to make it nice and flush with the top so the box will close. All right, and now I'm going to put the school supplies because they're nice and flat, but that's going to make a gap here from the height of the chess. So I'm going to put a few things in there. I'm going to put his fidget spinner. I'm going to put his little, eh, maybe I'll do the manicure kit down there. Okay, I'm going to rearrange a little bit here. Uh, it's getting hung up on the pieces of the plane. There we go. All right. Put his little ball game over here, tight to the edge. I'll probably get this down here. All right, just trying to make a flat. Flat layers. Okay, now I can put a school supplies in. There we go. And that's all nice and flat still. Okay, I have two pair of underwear for him. And I think they'll go in over here. There's a hole I'm developing here. I'm gonna put something in. I think I'm gonna put his sunglasses in there. Along with ugh, his socks. And I just realized I don't have the cup in here yet. Hold on. I might have to rethink that a little bit. How about if I put that in there? Making the bulge up too high. And then put that in there. There we go. That works. And then I'll put his ball game down here. All right. Again, just trying to keep everything as flat as possible. Now there's a bit of a hole there. Where's that underwear? That underwear will fit in that. Kind of in the cup and in the hole. All right. We're still good width-wise. Okay. Little googly eye guy is going to tie down there. All right. Sunglasses. So I think I'm going to tuck them in his sock just to protect the lenses a little bit. All right. And we've got his other sock. We'll put those together over here. There we go. Still keeping nice flat rectangular spaces. Let's do his Legos. Okay, and then we've got the other pair of underwear. They're still nice flat, got quite a bit of space. Beanie Babies squish amazingly. So this is his shirt. Um, I ordered it from walmart.com last year. It was like a dollar, less than a dollar, I think. I love the picture on it though. All right, so we'll put that on there. Okay, and then I've got this space over here for Mr. Monkey. You can go in there. Now, I seem to have a hole here. I thought I might, so I went downstairs and grabbed some work gloves. Um, these are from Costco. You can buy them in 10 packs, uh, which makes them less than a dollar a pair. I think they're like 60 cents. Um, it works out, too. So I'm going to fold those and make them fit in here. I'm going to have to roll it a tad. Get those sticky fingers in there. There we go. That fills up that space better. There we go. Pretty full. Just a teeny bit sticking up. Let's see how everything will squish to the level of the box. So that's fine. I don't like shipping air. It's kind of a waste of Samaritan's Purse's resources, I think. So I always fill them very full. So there we go. And it stays shut. A uh, box for a boy aged 10 to 14. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching.